They watched this in at the Gagenau, uh, Guggenau Museum oh, in no. uh, Bilbao. It's amazing. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, for me, it's amazing. All the Guggenheim Museum are, are impressive. It made no sense. Like, one of these, uh, one of these pieces was a, an aquarium, a tank uh, filled with some liquid and a basketball that was floating halfway. And next to it, there was another tank it's with a basketball hard. completely submerged. And I was like, what is this? I'm Alessandro. And I'm Edoardo. This is Unraveling the Bay Area. Here we go. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hi. Welcome back with Edoardo and Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, like my tofu neck? I don't know. I love it. I love it. Uh, it's yeah, today we will, today, Valley. today we will speak about arts, culture. So I was like, you wanted to embrace yeah, uh, yeah. the main <laughs> culture of the Bay Area, tech bros. Yeah, mm. but um, yeah. Okay, so what do you want to talk about today? Well, yeah. first of all, guys. Yeah. First of all, like let's say follow us uh, if you still uh, don't follow us. Uh, like like our video and the comments comment down below yep yeah and i was thinking yeah last time we were speaking about we introduced arts culture and uh yeah parks but actually yeah. we didn't speak about it so I was no thinking, because we ended up talking yeah, the entire time only about food, about food and i mean uh, it is a nice topic uh, yeah. there is a lot to talk about but it's also interesting to dive deeper into other stuff yeah yeah so um, I think you had something in mind. So let's. No, I mean, first of all, I would I would say, how big is San Francisco? Because uh, probably Small. yeah, exactly. Probably we didn't say anything about that. Mm -hmm. But actually, San Francisco is not a big city. It's oh, only yeah, it's very small. Uh, Eight hundred thousand people, more or less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the, this San Francisco city, not, not the other city, like... Uh, yeah, because San Jose the, yeah. is much bigger, it's like one yeah. point something million, do, uh, million people. Yeah, for sure, like if we consider all the Bay Area, it will be much bigger. Yeah, but I think uh, it's around like two million, something yeah. like that, two or three million. But yeah, the majority of people, like what... What like can we say about the culture, like the multi ethnic city or this kind of stuff? Because here there are a lot of different nationalities, uh, different culture. Mm -hmm. no, oh, for sure. Well, uh, I I thought, um, for example, in my uh, when I started my masters at USF, I thought uh, I would have had like more uh, American classmates. Uh, how many, the first days, how many people were in your class? Uh, 50. Okay. We were 50, 40, 50 people. Okay. And in the first couple of days, there were zero Americans. Uh, but over the course of everything, we were like five or six mm -hmm. Americans total. Uh, but some of them were actually like, a couple of them were born in the US, but raised like in China or stuff like yeah, that. As, as we say, like in the first episodes, uh, like here, there are like uh, in town, like like culturally, all the people that are living in US uh, like to travel a lot. They change uh, region, country, state, uh, like all, all the times since yeah. they are, yeah. It's different, it's different. Yeah, and people that are living shit. here are definitely here for not so many years uh, since not In, so in the Bay years. Area? Yeah, in yeah, the Bay for Area. Sure. And uh, yeah, especially these last few years uh, with COVID and that stuff, a lot of people are trying to migrate to other areas. And uh, but like, I don't know, like yeah, cheaper balance, states. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, in other states, you don't pay taxes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you, you don't pay state taxes, yeah. only pay federal taxes, such as in Florida, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Texas, uh, yeah. somebody told me. Not sure, but yeah, but yeah I mean, here, and what, what, what's the majority of, uh, like in terms of uh, multi-ethnicity of... Um, uh, there are the a culture. lot of Asian people, like either yeah, Chinese... I think, yeah, like uh, from, from the statistics, like four out of ten 
almost four out of ten of the of the people that are residents mm -hmm. in the Bay Area, in San Francisco especially, uh, are from uh, Asian countries or have uh, Asian uh, like origins. And, and what about Hispanics? Like uh, Hispanic, I, I suppose, is like fifteen percent overall, mm -hmm. almost. Yeah, and uh, for sure, the the majority are white. I think mm -hmm. half uh, half of the residents are constituted by white uh, race. Yeah, like both Americans or and non-Americans, but still yeah, white. Yeah, and what about uh, the black race? I mean, uh, here there are not so many. I would say no. Uh, I mean. Mm. From uh, according to statistics, uh, uh, there are like six percent of the population yeah, of San so Francisco much. are uh, are black, mm -hmm. uh, and then the others are uh, very very small percentages that are non uh, not, not so relevant. relevant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so okay. the first ones are white uh, Asians. Yeah, uh, and Hispanic. And Hispanics. Yeah. Latinos. Like more or less <laughs> half are white and then was it 30, 30 yeah, almost, something yeah. percent Asians yeah. and 15 Latinos. Mm -hmm. Cool. Nice. Yeah, but uh, so since there is such a different um, uh, different origin of people living here, uh, I guess that is also uh, why or it's due also to the fact that the neighborhoods in San Francisco are very cultural, culturally, um, uh, like they're really strong from a cultural standpoint. I mean, uh, yeah, there are different areas mm -hmm. like in San Francisco specifically where you can find uh, those uh, race, uh, like basically in all the cities in mm -hmm. Europe, in Asia, and uh, in the US in general, but where you can find uh, those uh, nationality which have uh, a huge presence. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I'm thinking, uh, like North Beach, uh, or... Uh, Italians. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and uh, all Bird. the others. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, yeah, here, what, like, uh, we can say more about that. Which are the main uh, neighborhood that are present in the city? I mean, from a cultural standpoint, probably, as you said, like there is North Beach, which is also called Little Italy. Um, yeah, all basically, the Italians are yeah, there. exactly. Restaurants, especially. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are very. It's it's very common that yeah. you can find res Italian restaurants, and uh, and Italian flag, <laughs> and Italian flag. Yeah, at the. Um, how can you uh, say, like the uh, poles? Yeah, the poles, the light poles. Uh, Mm -hmm. You can find the red, the red, white, and green flag all over. Yeah. So, so immediately cool. you can recognize it. And then... Uh, I mean, close by there is also uh, Chinatown. Chinatown, yeah. Which is... Which is huge, yeah. yeah. It's, it's and, very huge over there. And it seems... And also, in Chinatown, uh, they invented... Uh, I don't remember if we talked about this wow. during the last episode. Um, they're, they invented that there is one of the oldest uh, fortune cookie factories because oh. fortune cookies were invented in okay. the US. Okay, okay. So, and not in China? No. Wow, that's... Uh, they uh, are uh, <laughs> an American invention. <laughs> <laughs> so, in in Chinatown, uh, there was the first factory of... Uh, not uh, the first one, but one of the... One of the oldest. Yeah, there is one of the oldest one. Okay, okay. Uh, like first decades of the 19, uh, 1900s. Okay. Then uh, one other neighborhood is like near Castro, the uh -huh. Castro district, which yeah. has a huge presence uh, since uh, the beginning of, the, the, of San Francisco, mm -hmm. which basically all the LGBTQ plus community is uh, is over there Absolutely. over there also in the park so uh, nearby mm -hmm. it started to grow all the movement all the ecosystem of uh, of those guys you should have seen it uh, during the uh, the the parade the gay parade yeah uh, it was yeah actually i was here you, you but here? i didn't okay. go there okay uh, well, it was why? crazy no no, no. All, all around the city it was yeah uh, was super cool but they were especially uh yeah i can't really imagine like uh, i remember like yeah i i think i went there three times uh, not so mm -hmm. because it's like a little bit far away from the city center yeah 
but over there you can find uh, naked man, uh, naked woman. Uh, it's pretty common. I mean, for yeah. them, it's like uh, standard. They might also be a little bit high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, this is Castro district. Then, uh, which other main neighborhood do you think it's relevant? Well, my two, probably two of my favorite neighborhoods are um, for sure Japan Town. Yeah. Uh, I, I really love Japan Town. Is uh, it really looks like uh, you are transported into an uh, in, in Japan? Like you, you start walking into Japan Town uh, near Fillmore Center, and you are in Japan. Completely yeah. uh, even different architecture. Some sometimes different restaurants and super clean city. Which like I, I mean, can't imagine. Not not <laughs> like uh, the other parts of oh, sorry, uh, San no, not at all. Yeah, like. <laughs> And I was like, whoa, am I in Tokyo or <laughs> uh, super cool? And you can find also like um, Japanese supermarkets uh, or restaurants and mm -hmm. very, very nice. I don't know if you've ever been there. Yeah, yeah, I was there sometimes. Okay. But yeah. Mm. And then, mm. yeah, it's, it's different like from the rest of the, of the city. And then uh, the other part. Well, I really like the mission, the Hispanic. Uh, Do you like? Yeah, I, uh, not so safe, I would say. I mean, the I, first part is not safe. Yeah, but there are yeah some events, uh, some other networking events of startups are there. Mm -hmm. So I would say yeah, it's like more Hispanic uh, where there are more Latinos. And uh, then there's Tenderloin. Mm -hmm. what, what can we say about that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't go there. Don't go there. And uh, no, it's one of the. It, it is uh, the um, less safe. Yeah, basically uh, where all the homeless, yeah. where, where all the homeless are residents, I would say. Yeah. But actually, you know what? They told me that it's pretty safe from, uh, like, uh, over there. No one stole anything because mm, everyone doesn't own literally anything so basically they just find in the street what is uh, what was left by the other people so yeah i met some guys that are living there and uh, i mean i don't know actually how, how can they say that but it, they told me like that honestly i, mean, I would I never during the there. day you can kind of go there uh, without risking too much at night, people have told me, don't go there for sure. Yeah, no, sure. But, I mean, I can kind of see the reasoning behind it. Kind yeah. of weird Strange, reason, yeah, yeah. yeah, sure, yeah. But yeah, these but, are the main names. By the way, if you go to the mission, try uh, La Tajeria. Oh, they, great taco yeah, they, they, they told me about that. Ooh, awesome. Yeah. Great. If you want to go there sometime, we, yeah, we, we can organize. If any of you want to come as well, we can organize a cool like trip from whatever you are. Just get a plane ticket, come here, and we'll take you around the city. Oh, yeah, yeah no, yeah, like Definitely. nice tours, yeah. Next, uh, next, uh, well, also, like, it's not just about like uh, neighborhoods. I mean, the culture you can see uh, anywhere. Yeah, um, from parks, museums, and there are a lot of them. Yeah, I would say I, I would start from the parks. All right, which which park? Which do you park like? do you like? Uh, pretty old here. The the other. I don't. I'm not a huge park lover. Goer. No. Okay. No. I, no. I, actually, I like them. I just. Yeah. No, I would start with the Golden Gate Park. All right. Which is uh, the biggest park here in San Francisco. And actually, I don't know if, yeah, for sure, you know, but it's like uh, even bigger than Central Park. Oh, yeah, much bigger. It, yeah, it's, uh, it's strange. Was it two but, three uh, times bigger? I don't yeah, know. I don't know, but I, it's I, I definitely, don't know, but it's bigger. It's definitely bigger than Central Park, uh, which is huge. So try to think uh, how huge is that? I mean, there is a zoo, there are yeah, museums, yeah. there is Let's a... Let's, uh, like... Um, extract uh, all the parts that are there okay. first of all inside you can drive a car oh yes so sure. this uh, gives me immediately the idea of how, how big, big is it that. is i mean there is a bus uh Even just a bus, for, the, yeah. for, for the parts streets yeah and everything 
then I would say let's uh, go on the museum part. All right. I I'm sure that you know like the Did museum. You visit them? Yeah, I visited them. Yeah, All and right. uh, yeah. Do you want to say more about the museum? What do you? So um, I really like the the young museum uh, okay. where are, there is a lot of art, a lot of uh, paintings, uh, some sculptures. Um, and it's really, really interesting. Um, I mean, there are different style of arts, mo both modern and uh, classical. Mm -hmm. uh, I really enjoyed it. I went there a couple of months ago. I spent like, I think three or three hours or something. Three like hours, that. wow. Yeah, and also like uh, on the top floor, there is also part that is dedicated to natives. Uh, yeah. And Awesome, uh, I loved it. How, how much do you pay for that? I cannot remember. But did you pay, right? Uh, for that one, yes, it was discounted. Uh, you know what? what? When I went there, I didn't pay. You so, went on a f uh, Wednesday? No, what is it? No, no, no. I don't, I don't remember if it was Wednesday. But prob like, uh, yeah, I entered without paying. But I entered from the coffee, basically. And over there, yeah. This is like a suggestion for all of you. Arrest him. <laughs> no, if you enter from the coffee on the back, you can just enter and no, there is no guard basically and you can go around without paying. And uh, yeah, it's pretty... Yeah, I mean, I not kids like... Kids don't do that at home. <laughs> not kids do it. But uh, no, actually, you know, like the Amon Tower, the biggest tower, it's free to go. I, uh, I searched it on the internet and over there you can see the beautiful landscape uh, from the top. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's free to go if you, so yeah, if you are not like in, in, a lot into culture, you can just go there and uh, admire, the, admire the city and uh, Who's like not you can into culture be, though? Come on guys, go check out the, the paintings. They're cool. Yeah. Art is nice. Modern art, nah. Uh, but I'm kidding. On the other side, there's also the California Academy of Science. I've only been there. No, I don't think I've ever been there, actually. I remember wanting to go there uh, when I was here with, with my family in 2009. Okay. Uh, Long time ago. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think we ever went in. Have you been there? No, I never enter, but actually I just I was just walking around the same day that I went to the De Jong Museum and uh, the only thing I discovered was that over there there's the biggest dinosaurs park in the world. Which is uh, I I love dinosaurs. But wow. I saw that over there, yeah, it's the world's biggest attraction of uh, dinosaurs. That is Which so I cool. love it. I mean, it's we uh, yeah, we should go actually. But the other, th I, I'm Tacos honestly, and then, uh, and then <laughs> they are far, far away, but uh, ah, uh, one this in the is our no problem. <laughs> no, the other cool thing that I discovered, like doing some research, is that over there in the Academy of Science uh, Museum, there's like uh, one of the rare alligator is white, is um. An alligator? Yeah, alligator with blue eyes. It's very rare and uh, there's like only one species uh, and it's there. So we, we just, uh, we, we need to check it out. Absolutely. What I mean, it's pretty cool. amazing, yeah. Yeah, I mean, even if it's like mainly for children with families, I, yeah, I would yeah. love to go there. But yeah, it's, uh, there's like a very... That is in the zoo, right? Like in the zoo park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because there is a zoo. Yeah. And the other attraction pretty nearby, nearby yeah. is the Japanese the tea, garden. tea garden. Yeah. That was donated uh, to the city of San Francisco by some, ja by some Japanese. Really? Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't go there. Uh, I th yeah, it, was, it costs a lot, I think. Uh, it's actually free if you are a resident of the city. Really? Yeah. I, I, so oh. I went in oh, so free. that's another thing that I would check it out for sure. If you reside in the city, it is free. Yeah, because I and saw that there. Cool. Yeah, it's like another like uh, Asian, uh, like uh, there mm -hmm. are some Asian gardens. Uh, also, the architecture from yes. an architectural point of view is uh, 
it's pretty amazing over there and oh, yeah. it's very calm uh, relaxing environment there is yeah. also like a gift shop and uh, like a small cafe or mm -hmm. some where you can get some traditional japanese tea okay. uh, or japanese some food mm -hmm. uh, it's expensive the food but it's pretty cool pretty good we take it from home like a yeah. lunch box uh, and uh, we can make our we own are, bento right. box at home but the other things oh you know another fun fact mm. i don't know if you know about that inside of the golden gate park there are bison yes there's the bison paddock i know amazing i've seen them and they are so cool yeah they seems pretty calm <laughs> i don't know probably they were fed uh, in the past with some i don't know like for sure like uh, from a bison which normally is in montana in uh, like in the yellowstone park over there being in san francisco is uh, another type of things oh, yeah but yeah i didn't know that uh, there are bison there's like a bison paddock uh, i don't know how many are there like 10 Can't bison more or like less that. and it's amazing it's amazing but something else that is super cool i well n not too far from there uh, there is a um, well, the football field or soccer field yeah. with also like the track, uh, the track field around mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, but there is also a, like an artificial lake where they make Which uh, one? Okay. Uh, where they race with the model boats like where is the that? small boat okay. uh, ah no too. yeah yeah i know it's uh, like higher than the it's not like at the level c at the sea level it's like a little bit it's like on a on a hill more or less no mm, not really i mean there is a i don't remember i just remember there is this lake yeah this yeah yeah lake I, where I they think, do the regattas yeah. yeah yeah i think i saw that and it's super cool I, yeah basically inside there's everything, there's everything yes yeah, like there all the, the sports. Club, uh, yeah. There is, yeah, I mean, whatever you can imagine. And there, there is, is like also a windmill. There is a windmill near, near the beach. Yes, with tulips nearby. Yeah, Holland, the Netherlands. Yeah. the Netherlands. Uh, there district. is everything there. <laughs> okay, so this is Golden Gate Park. Then and we, and it ends at the beach at the. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It starts. Ocean. Yeah, it starts from the. <laughs> Not the city center, but a half way. from Panhandle. Uh, and arrive directly to the beach. Yeah, uh, Ocean Beach. Ocean Beach. Real cool. And nearby there is also a really good fish and chips place. But that's for another time. Yeah. And the other part, part we can say a little bit more is like uh, the Presidio. Ooh, that has a lot of uh, also historical relevance. Yeah. Historical, uh, I don't know much about the history, but uh, yeah. I mean, like, uh, it's where the military uh, had their base, mm -hmm. their naval base. Uh, it was there. In fact, if you go there, you can still see all of the houses where military houses, military. Yeah, actually, you know that the first uh, is like building, the, the first historical building of San Francisco mm -hmm. is over there. No. The first building uh, like uh, really? built. Uh, Ever cool is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that, but um, yeah, yeah, it's over there. I think around uh, mid seventy, mid uh, yeah, seventeen seventy. It's cool. uh, the building is there that because is for so sure, cool. like it was a military, a U.S. military force over mm -hmm. there during all the Civil War, American work, and all this stuff. And uh, yeah, today. I don't, do you know like uh, what, I mean over there, there are streets, uh, there are homes, uh, mm -hmm. but I don't know actually if people are living there, Yeah, they're living, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually checked out a room in one of those houses before, uh, when I first got to the city. Okay. Uh, but also in there, there are things like, I don't know, there is a bowling alley, mm -hmm. if you like bowling, uh, there is, and there is a really cool museum there. The Walt About? Disney Family Museum. Oh, yeah. I saw that. I never been. Did you go there? Uh, no. Okay. It was closed when I got there. So I only toured the Probably gift shop. <laughs> this will be another thing we can do at the same day. 
No, the other thing is there like the the national uh, cemetery of uh, San Francisco. Like uh, yeah, it's I've it's never there. Doing... Yeah, it's the class. I mean, try to think about the film, the U.S. film, where yeah. you see like the cemetery with like. Uh, I haven't been there though. It's uh, it's amazing. It's huge, and you have the landscape over the Golden Gate Bridge and uh, all the um, the ocean. The ocean. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's amazing. I mean, the procedure is right next to the Golden yeah, Gate Bridge. Yeah, exactly. Super nice. And uh, yeah, there are some trails, there are some stuff. Uh, but yeah, this some is basically... Some wild animals there. Yeah, the, actually there's like uh, the coyote uh, signs yeah. all over. Yeah, this is, I mean, and I don't know if you know like about that, but they told me that I initially I thought, okay, watch out of, about coyote because they are dangerous yeah, and this stuff. they're aggressive. Actually, no. I mean, they are scared about um, the human. So basically, you see, you you will you will, you will uh, see like this uh, biggest bigger signal. But actually, if you shout to them and you move your hands like this, mm -hmm. they will just go away. They they don't do anything basically. But if you Scary go there cats. and if you have like a dog, uh -huh. you oh, it's dangerous. Yeah, for the it's dog. dangerous for the dog. Oh, that's cool. But uh, I never saw like one of them. I don't know. Have I. Yeah. Oh, I, no, yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, I, I've I don't never remember. seen any animals, any like wild <laughs> animals there. And um, well, not too far from there, if you go like from the park, from the Presidio, mm -hmm. uh, you cross the, mar the marina, okay. uh, apart from getting to Formation Center. But uh, after that one, which is really cool, um, after that one, you can also find um, near Girardelli Square, there is a nice park there where people go also running because it's okay. flat. Okay. So people yeah. run from there and run all the way to like the Embarcadero. Yeah. When I run, I go there basically. Yeah, it's flat, you don't die. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and yeah, also Ghirardelli Square is pretty cool and you can see also like the Fisherman Wharf, which is also super But cool. actually, speaking about arts, uh, over there there's like the Palais of Arts. Oh, uh, we didn't before say... that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right outside of the Presidio. It's, That's it's right. huge, it's amazing. House I mean, of fine art. for sure, America in general is not like, culturally is not the best city, but over there there's like this big historical... Uh, Palace, uh, mm. where yeah, is uh, I don't know how to describe it, well, it's but um, like it kind of looks like a, an old uh, Roman or Greek, yeah, um, yeah, kind temple. of temple, but it's uh, probably have... the only one in the city which is like strange, like yeah, which yeah. has like a European influence. And they, they basically copied the Greek style <laughs> of yeah. the, t uh, the, the style of Greek temples and made this huge thing super nice yeah uh, with a lake in the side um, red colors uh, i love it uh, it almost looks like being in greece in yeah. athens or yeah it's I mean, very the, the, uh, i haven't thought about that you know no a yeah i th i thought you 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 were saying you you were saying more about that but uh yeah i know i immediately realized it and they say yeah let's That's speak true. about that and Which, um, by the way, uh, just yeah, going like connecting this to like nowadays TikTok trends or okay. how how often do you think about the Roman Empire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, we were just speaking about that three days ago, four yeah. days ago, and uh, yeah, probably I don't know, like if in Europe is like. Uh, already arrived the TikTok. I don't know. In Pro the US they definitely know it. Yeah, probably, yeah, I think we... Oh, no, 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 yes, it, it has because I saw also some Italians and some French uh, influencers doing it. Yeah. How many times do you think about the old... Well, the right now yeah. uh, <laughs> I've been thinking about it for the past 10 minutes, so at least <laughs> once a week, I guess. <laughs> Often. <laughs> Often, yeah. But, uh, yeah, what else? Um, the other parks. Um, yeah, some of my friends go near the, what are they called? The, uh, not the Pink Ladies, the... Alamo? Uh, Al Alamo Square. Yeah. The Painted Ladies. Painted Ladies. Not, I don't know why I always... <laughs> you just keep... Uh, For me, they are pink. Yeah. 
There is one thing, probably. Yeah. But yeah, the other park is La Alamo Square. Okay. Uh, basically, a, a very beautiful city, a, be a beautiful scene of the, of the city. And over there, you can admire us, the painted ladies. Um, but uh, yeah, historically, there's nothing over there. And uh, well, the painted ladies. Yeah, are but, famous uh, for movies. Yeah, are famous for movies, TV but shows. actually there are like others, definitely. Oh, others. much better. I mean, Victorian house styles houses. Just go on Leon Street. Uh, Where is Leon Street? Leon Street from the pa uh, Palace of Fine Arts. Okay. There is a street that goes um, right, that is right next to that Presidio. Okay. And goes all the way up almost to the Golden Gate Park. Mm -hmm. And uh, Leon L Y O N Street, okay. uh, and there are some awesome, some really, really good, uh, nice houses. There is also, for example, the house, uh, a huge house that was used in a Disney movie, The Princess Diaries. Okay, uh, it was the high school of the princess. I don't know if you remember no, that movie. Yeah, I, I I know, but uh, I don't. But um. On the other side, uh, speaking about this high school musical stuff, uh -huh. have you have you um, seen? Mrs. Doubtfire. No, Raven. Like Re Re did, yes. Do you remember Raven? Yes. Have you ever been to the house? I've not. I was speaking with some of my friends, uh, and they told me, "Oh, you are in San Francisco." I don't know anything about San Francisco, but I know that actually there's like the Raven's house over there. Yeah. No, that's a Raven. Yeah. And I've never been there. I have I been to the it's... house of Mrs. Doubtfire. Okay, I didn't uh, see that. The movie with um, Robin Williams. Okay. Uh, you know the one where he dresses up as a okay. as a, an old woman. Uh, okay. Yeah. And I. The nanny of yeah, his own yeah, yeah. kids. Okay. It's not a spoiler. It's a really <laughs> old movie. Um, okay. No, I didn't see that. And something else I've yeah, seen. Speaking... Uh, oh well, well the painted ladies they've been in many movies and they were uh, always um, in the uh, in the initial credits of a TV show of an American TV show uh, that's called The Full House. Okay. Really cool TV show, old one, but never seen. Uh, and what else? What else? Uh, the Dolores Park, uh, another famous park. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Actually, Some you my know, friends, they go there instead of working. They go there uh, <laughs> and drink coffee. Uh, Only drink coffee over there is pretty famous for smoking weed, and uh -huh. uh, I think that the like no, it was on the hippie hill in the um, in the Golden Gate Park, mm. where where the hippie, hippie movement started oh, yeah, to yeah, grow. Yeah. It's another side. But over there, yeah, it's another place uh, for recreational activities, community building and uh, this stuff. Actually, you know what? What? Uh, it was, like in the past, was a Jewish cemetery over there. The worst part? Yeah. But after, like, sometimes they completely changed the, the thing. But yeah, it was a Jewish cemetery, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I did some research. That is... Interesting. <laughs> so there are so, there are still some Jewish. Probably I don't know, but yeah, mm. I'm sure that there Beneath there will be around. yeah. Underneath you will you will not go there anymore. No, probably not. Anytime I, soon, I will try <laughs> and avoid it. <laughs> well, um, which other museum? The San Francisco MoMA. Oh yeah, the SF MoMA. Uh, never mm, been there. I don't never love been there. modern art. So yeah, uh, you don't love. I I think I, I love more modern art than. Uh, really. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> the old art. one is the old one is old. Uh, yeah, but modern modern art is oftentimes makes no sense to me. Like I, yeah, when it was I, I, in the Bilbao. I see. I see. Yeah. There was this in at the Guggenau uh, Guggenau uh, Museum oh, in no. uh, Bilbao. It's amazing. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, for me, it's amazing. All the Guggenheim Museum are, are impressive. It made no sense. Like, one of these, uh, one of these pieces was a, an aquarium, a tank uh, filled with some liquid and a basketball that was floating halfway. And next to it, there was another tank That's with a basketball hard. completely submerged. And I was like, what is this? There was the urinary, uh, uh, urinary 
Uh, okay. Where you oh yeah where yeah you yeah. The, where yeah, males yeah, yeah, yeah yeah No, I I, I see that. For me, it's it's they, art. They... <laughs> okay. Completely let, different. Let's agree. Yeah. To disagree. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, but, <laughs> but actually, the San Francisco MoMA is uh, the second largest museum of modern art uh, all over U.S. Is the second largest After... I will avoid. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, the first no. one is in New York. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. The first one is the MoMA in New York. Yeah. Uh, for sure, is uh, biggest. Is bigger than this. But um, but yeah, this is the second largest. And uh, well, what else? What well, else? There is uh, also um, in San Francisco. Uh, I didn't know. Actually, shout out to my roommate Fabio for uh, telling me about this. Mm -hmm. um, it, in San Francisco, there is a lot of there are a lot of concerts and uh, operas at the yeah. San Francisco Opera House. Um, yeah. I've been there once uh, with him to see a concert, a piano concert. Okay. Uh, great, great stuff. And you were telling me. Yeah, right, right now there's uh, Il Trovatore. Yeah. Uh, it's over there. The and, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, I was walking uh, and uh, one time near the Twitter headquarters. It's, it's right. there, right? Yeah. yeah. And um, I saw so many people, old people, pretty, yeah, they, they were all dressed constant, up. Yeah, uh, all dressed up, which is strange because uh, people here don't wear suits or. Uh, probably they were all dress. rentals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were going to the um, opera house and. Um, and uh, all it's over, true, like uh, all over the Bay Area, there there are a lot of concerts. Oh yes. The other huge things. I mean, yeah, here there will be Maneskin oh, in uh, yeah. two weeks. What is it on the sixteen? Yeah, they will play uh, in Oakland on the other side. Uh, but yeah, there are like uh, different. Um, and yeah, at the Oakland in Oakland at the at their stadium. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, or here in San Francisco, usually in uh, at the Chase Center. Yeah. Uh, there are other events. Down in San Jose, uh, at the. Like I think, yeah, in San Jose, like in the last uh, in the last uh, one month, uh, there there was playing Ed Sheeran, Taylor Swift, Beyonce. I mean. I mean because it's bigger, they have yeah. more space. It's easier to reach. Also with parking, yeah. Uh, I mean, parking in San Jose is much easier than parking here, um, for a lot of different reasons, uh, mm -hmm. either at the Levi Stadium or uh, where the hockey team plays. Mm -hmm. I don't remember uh, what it's called, but yeah, down there there are a few stadiums where people play, and also it's warmer. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, I think uh, we cover it all. Yeah, I mean, probably next episode we probably could talk next, more yeah. about mm, other stuff. Uh, yeah, the seen. parks outside of San Francisco because we yeah. talked about the parks in the city, but outside. Not the activities nearby. What exactly. you can say, one day trip. Uh, yeah, we can say a little more about that. Yeah, all, all the trails that there are outside uh, in the Bay. Yeah, area I would love to speak about that. Yes, definitely. next episode. All right. All right, so, guys. Yeah, thank you remember, for being with us yeah, today. Thank you for being with us. And uh, this is the remember, fifth episode. yeah, fifth episode. Uh, remember, follow us, uh, like. like, and comment down below. Let us uh, know now what do you think about it. And uh, yeah, yeah. Thank we'll you. We'll see in the next episode. Bye. Bye.